Libra. Welcome to your November reading. I hope you're amazing. I'm also amazing. It is dark here, <laughs> which I probably think you can tell, but um, it's a good day. It was a good day. <laughs> so um, this reading is the mid-November reading. This could be a piggyback off of the first one. It could be a new one for you the only one for you in November, or it may not resonate at all. And that's fine. Don't take in these problems if you don't need them. Okay. So Libra, let's get in see what we got here. Thief. She has light on potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. Um, all I'm getting is like, you can do it, you know, like you can be and have what you want to have. That's all that I'm getting from that. Okay. So we have distorted perceptions. Reality is rarely what we are raised to believe it is. Okay, this is um, inner child reparenting, okay? It's like finding your spiritual side or finding uh, your voice as you are now, as an adult, you know what I mean? Because I'm assuming everyone here is an adult. So as an adult, finding your voice now, who you are now, not who you used to be or who you think you should be, but like who you actually are and then we have accountability responsibility is a gift of love to yourself and others mm -hmm. so it talks about your burdens um so a lot of the burdens that you feel like you do have or that you have is based on the fact that you're living an old life or someone else's ideal life so this is like uh, gaining your power back, taking a new, you know, this is a new beginning, a clean slate to happiness, you know, because you're finding out who you really are and who you want to be and how to accomplish that. Yeah. Okay, so we have set your course, know where you wish to go, have a plan, the right decision. Choices, feeling blocked, restrained. Mm, yeah. Changed in the night. You have changed quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to hit you. This is, this is when it all starts to hit you, okay? Because you feel like you've made the best decisions to put yourself in the best case scenario that you should be in right so that's how you're feeling coming into here coming into this but what I'm seeing is have your choice the question for you is have your choices put you in a place where you have found success or are you still striving craving trying to find that success for yourself that's the question um, I feel like asking yourself that question helps you balance out like what's real, what's not, what's for you, what isn't for you, you know, it helps get that, mm, that energy straightened up instead of feeling like, well, this is what everyone else is doing, or this is what I have been doing. So why don't I keep doing that? You know? It feels very... <laughs> I'm going to tell you, Libra, it feels very new. You know, it feels like very, not questionable, but like everything feels distorted because it's different from what you have been doing. It's like you've held on to something or did something one way because you thought it would make you happy, but it didn't. It didn't fulfill your wishes. Then you have to sort of distance yourself from everything to figure out you and who you are. This is like the process, not right now, but as a whole. And then 
you know, you have to make some new moves, you know, and it feels lonely. It may feel questionable because you don't know what's coming up next, but it's all to create balance for yourself. So page of wands, 10 of wands, the devil, seven of coins, the emperor, three of cups, eight of swords, 10 of swords and the king of cups. Five of coins and the seven of wands. Okay, five of coins and seven of wands is your overall energy. And this is definitely about taking back your power. And not only taking back your power, but taking back that idea of scarcity or not having. Um, taking more control to find stability, finding a balance, building a life that better fits you now um and having enough strength to stand up for what you believe in because that's what the seven of wands is okay so major arcana on the table we have the devil the emperor only two okay so the devil is <laughs> that's that old mindset of what you have been doing and feeling like, oh, I just need to keep doing this, or I'm not going to change, or making excuses, or not facing the facts. That's what the devil is, right? Um, in the center, the emperor is all about you having the power. You have the control to change your life, to make it better, to have success. Like, this is not working. Change it right? So you have to let go of the fear or feeling like you have to do something, talking yourself out of it, feeling like what will other people think? Any of those things need to be pushed to the side so you can achieve the best scenario for yourself. So let's jump into this. The page of wands is in reverse. We're starting off here. And in that position, it tells me that you have been wasting potential um, because you're not sure, fearful. Um, it's like a child that gets to go to kindergarten for the first time. We all have been through this or most of us has. Um, and they're crying. You're, they're crying. You're crying. You're like, I don't want to leave home. I've been home all my life. I want to be with my parents. This is terrible. What about my toys? Okay. Not knowing that this is good for you. Obviously, that's why your parents are sending you there. Um, it's good for you to socialize. It's good for you to, you're going to eventually have to find a job and be independent. But at that moment, you can't see that. And that's exactly what this energy is like. It's like you're standing in this spot because it's what you know. But there's more to be had. There's more to live. Okay. There's a fear of not knowing. <laughs> okay so there's also a lot going on around you I feel like with the ten of wands in reverse so it tells me that you have a lot of responsibilities maybe a lot of burdens uh, a lot of things going on that you feel like you have sole responsibility over and this is one of the reasons as well why you're choosing not to you're choosing not to move you're choosing not to make those choices because you're like, oh, but I have this stuff going on. I don't have time to like see if this works or see if it doesn't. And this is what's holding you back. Hence why the devil is here in this row. That's what's holding you back. That's the excuse that you're using to keep anchored where you are. So the problem is with set your course. This is the course that you're setting for yourself. But this is not going to get you to the success or the happy place that you want to be. So this is your opportunity to choose another direction that is the right quote-unquote direction for you okay so I see that it's going to take a lot of work it takes a lot of investment it's going to take some dedication in you to change some things in your life change the way you do some things um, take care of people the way that you spend money the way that you work the way you know like there's something in your life physically <laughs> that you're going to have to change in order to make the change. Um, and this is the adventure, the possibilities, the the thing that 
it's interesting because it feels so big to me. Like you're going to make this choice and you're like, if I make this choice or if I take this leap, I really have to follow through because there's no go back. And it gives you the motivation because it's a wand. It gives you the motivation to push forward and learn more. If you have that in you, which I feel you do with the seven of coins. Also, it's about not letting your environment, <laughs> other people, your situation or the things that you feel have burdened you. Uh, hold you back because what's happening is those things are having power over your life and the decisions that you make and not you okay yeah so once you're willing to hold on I drop cards Okay, once you're willing to be truthful with yourself and get yourself untrapped out of your own mind, okay? It's like release yourself, giving yourself freedom. These cards are so slippery. I made these and that's my fault. <laughs> um, and to accept like accountability for your life. You have you have the opportunity to change these thought this thought pattern, okay? Um, if you notice, this is an eight, and this is a ten. In between that is the two of swords, and the two of swords is definitely about decisions and making a choice. So it is a choice. When you make that choice, everything will change, okay? Also, I'm seeing something over here. These two cards I didn't read, okay? And there's a reason, because this is a whole different situation. So, Nine of Pentacles, Tower, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands. I feel like this should be reversed. This is a love situation or even somebody you care about. There is someone in your life that you both have a codependent situation. This is maybe for someone specific. Maybe it's in general. But this is a codependent situation. Um, I do feel like there are times that you make each other happy. Or you do like each other or there's love or family, some sort of connection. Um. But it's not healthy. It feels very demanding on one end. And on the other end, there's more sacrifice. Okay. That relationship really needs to change. But the problem is there's a struggle with loss or losing this person or losing love or losing this family member from from you like from you standing up for yourself or doing what you need to do for yourself I'm gonna say it that way so it may be family because it feels like a conflict or it could be a loved one and you live together and you're worried about financial issues if you have to move out on your own could be something like that um but you feel like there will be a big loss if you take this step But I feel like the three of wands is here. So that tells me that you need to have more of a long term view. That's really constricted to now and it's holding because it's right next to the devil. So it's like holding you back from what you could have because you're like, well, I know this is not good. I know that, you know, it should be better. But if I leave, this will happen. <laughs> Okay. This devil energy is really prominent. Yeah, this is childhood, inner childhood stuff, for sure. Um, abandonment issues, uh, feeling like you're good, you're not good enough. Um, 
needing to be accepted or loved by others. These are all the things that are coming to mind. Yeah, and this is all internal stuff. Yeah, these are, this is all internal stuff you need to deal with because I feel like these are lies that are kind of going around in your subconscious uh, that stop you from moving forward. Mm, Libra. Um, so they're talking about you had a dream at one point of how you wanted life to be. You probably still have that dream and you still talk about it. But I feel like you're not using your inner strength and resilience to make it happen. It's like you've kind of given up on your dream by letting this devil energy or this childhood, like inner childhood issues stop you from moving forward. So it's like it's being choked. <laughs> choked out or suppressed by this energy okay okay this is for someone specific if you feel like you've been working really hard to make more money or make something happen for yourself you're telling yourself that or you feel like you really are um, the reason why is because there's no change. It's like the energy is stagnant or you're not doing anything new. It's it's like it's not going to fall from the sky. OK, you have to make some changes. You have to do something new. You have to network, whatever it is, in order for that to happen. I feel like that specific moment or understanding hasn't happened yet. So when there is a change, when something shifts, then the energy will shift. But until then it's going to stay the same. You're going to be working on the things you're working on right now and it's not going to change. Wow. Okay. Service. Who and what are you giving your power to? Um, that's the question that comes up. Like who or what has precedence over your life so much that you can't achieve the goals or the life that you want? Like what is driving you? What is your driving force? And where is it taking you? That's the first question. Okay. Also learning to accept where you are at the moment. You know, it's like, okay, I'm here. It's not where I want to be. It's not ideal. Um, but what can I do to make those changes? What can I do to make it better? Yeah. Yeah. Um, destiny, when that comes out, it's a call for your future. It's a call for yours. Like, it's like your spirit guides telling you like, this is your moment to make a choice. This is your moment to reach your dreams. This is that life changing. This is that life changing moment that you asked for. That's what that says to me. All right, Libra. That was a deep one. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> but I love you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.